Ah, Doom. Just that title screen alone is enough to give countless gamers a nostalgia high. It's crazy to think about now, but back in 1994, this was the bleeding edge of video games. Realistic graphics, a first-person perspective, cool guns blasting monstrous aliens into little bits, but more importantly, doing all of it in 3D space. Moving behind walls and through doors as if you were actually this ill-fated soldier just trying to survive a little while longer in a desolate outer space military base. But what did this classic and slightly controversial video game and a construction company have in common? Well, as is the case with most things in this ever-shrinking and ever-more-connected world of ours, it's all about the software. Now this, as you can probably tell from the distinct lack of alien guts, is ICE. It's the software that powers everything from design to manufacturing for the aptly named DIRT, a Canadian construction company whose business centers around recreating interior spaces for their clients by replacing dumb drywall with smarter prefabricated walls and they come ready for install with electrical and other features built right in. Well, this really is ice, the, the meat of it anyway. It's the cool factor and what sets it apart. And like Doom, it's all about moving through a 3D environment. But there's a bigger connection between ice and Doom than just the fact that they're both pieces of software. See, back in the 90s, Dirt's Barry Loberg dreamed up the software while working at another company after seeing some of his colleagues play the game on a break. See, Loberg wanted to create a design software that gave clients a 3D fly-through of their ordered space, just like Doom allowed players to move through a level. Not only does ICE accomplish that goal, it actually assembles those spaces with data rather than 3D drawings created in AutoCAD. It then powers manufacturing with that same data. So, how does the whole process actually play out with a given client? Well, it typically begins with designers uploading a CAD file to the software to lay a foundation for the design. Many clients provide a layout of their existing space, but the DIRT team can generate one from scratch if necessary. Another very important aspect of ICE is that it's very intuitive. It doesn't require a serious engineering background or any kind of extensive experience with design software. Creating walls in ICE is actually as easy as dragging the mouse to draw a line. And as soon as you have any type of wall in front of you, you can make changes with just a few clicks. And as walls are rendered in 3D, a parts list is created and a budget for the project is updated. And the synergy of the rendering, the parts list, and the budget is so tight that should a client come back to DIRT for an update of a space the company built, ICE can actually identify and reuse up to 73% of the materials in the current build for the new project. Once the design is complete, ICE generates the manufacturing file, which is then signed off on by the client. DIRT project managers then review the file before it's sent along for custom manufacturing. Now, most spaces ship in two to three weeks, and they can be assembled in about two weeks, since, as you can see here, everything kind of just snaps together like Legos. 20 years ago, id Software probably didn't imagine its video game would have such an impact that it would inspire the creation of construction software and revolutionize a manufacturing process. But that's exactly what's happened. And with Dirt going full speed ahead on developing ICE into a more powerful piece of software, 20 years from now, it will be interesting to see what type of software ICE has inspired.